Hello, my name is Peter Gunville, and I'm out here in the Chilcotin country living off grid with my wife and child in beautiful British Columbia. Today, my task at hand is to uh, load some logs up onto my sawmill here, and we're going to see how many 2x6s we can kind of need, a bunch of 2x6s to finish off the project. I might get a bunch of 2x6s, I may get some um, slabs, some other various materials right just depending on the shape of the log so I'll start I'm using uh, Kubota L3902 with the bush grapple on it it's a great little uh, the bush grapple is good for picking up logs or for pushing brush and picking up brush and stuff like that and then I'm loading it up onto my sawmill and I'll we'll just give a demo of how that bush blade works or that yeah that bush grapple bush grapple Well, that was a little bit more rougher than I would have liked, but that log is on there. Now we'll just uh, get that log secured to that sawmill. Okay, I just got my log loaded up onto my Norwood HD36 Lumber Pro. I have, uh, on, on the sawmill, I have a four foot bed extension with a two and a half feet um, little extenders on each thing so I can cut up to about 21 feet on this sawmill but today I'm just cutting uh, roughly about 14 feet 16 feet just for some two by six I've got a bunch more off to the side there that'll be filling up as well just for some roof choice so uh, there's just a little bit of uh, tweaking I have to do on the logs I have to Turn the logs and get them sitting fairly flat against the deck. Then once I do that, I'll measure each side. Then I'll figure out where my center. I like to have the center of my logs located the same on on the deck, right? So if I've got a 16-inch base on one side and a 14-inch base on the other side, I'll have to split the difference on the one side. I know I've got eight for the center. On the one side and the other side, if I only got a 14, seven inches center, so I'll have to jack that log up an inch just to compensate so my centers are exactly at eight inches. And then I'll make my, then I'll start cutting my wood once I get that established and yeah.
Okay, here we go. Well, out of that log, I got five nice uh, two by sixes out of it. I got one more slab that I can cut another one out. The wind was kind of uh, blasting me with sawdust while I was cutting, so I was eating a little bit of sawdust, but not too bad. So that's pretty much it. This uh, sawmill runs pretty nice, as you can see here. Take a look at some of these logs here. I mean, some of these boards here. There's a couple little inconsistencies in them. It's not so much as being the, 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 the bed set up pretty level. It's just that blade when you hit, when you hit some knots, when you hit some knots, that blade will lift up on the knot or whatever, right? And it'll give it a little bit of a, makes it a little bit shaky, so. But other than that, it's pretty nice, pretty nice wood, nice tight grain, right? Edge grain almost, right? Really super tight, so these will make some nice joists. So that's uh, that's the wrap for right now.